Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and greetings from Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. My name is Jeff Casello, and I'm the Associate Vice President, Graduate Studies and Postdoctoral Affairs at the University of Waterloo. This week marks the highlight of the academic calendar for all of us here at the university. This is Convocation Week. This is the time when normally we would be coming together at the university with you, our graduates, with your families and loved ones, and celebrating all that you've accomplished. Of course, things are different this year and have been different for some time. And we want to thank you again for all the remarkable perseverance, and we want to wish you and your families all of the health and safety as we all navigate this difficult time. We are absolutely thrilled to have this PhD-centric event. We recognize how much work it has been for you to accomplish all that you've achieved. Completing a PhD is a remarkable accomplishment. Certainly, you come to us with intellectual curiosity, academic ability, a desire to be a researcher, to be a student, but to be a leader in your field. And we hope that the university community has fostered that for you. We hope that you have received the support that you need and have been given the opportunity to really satisfy that curiosity that we're certain you came to us with. And you've accomplished so much. And so we're here today to celebrate that, celebrate with you all that this degree indicates and all that you've done. And of course, we recognize that today, as we celebrate, we're not just celebrating your accomplishments. There have been so many who have been integral to the work that you've been able to complete. Within the university, your supervisory team, your committee structures, your examiners, although they may not always seem as friends, they were and they were there to support you. We know how important those are to those folks are to creating the opportunities that you've had. But maybe more importantly, is beyond the university. There have been, of course, any number of people who have helped you get to where you are today. We know that your partners, your parents, your families, your loved ones, for some, your children, all of them have played integral roles in picking you up when those days were difficult and providing that extra bit of motivation and reassuring you that you were on the right path and ensuring that you felt supported and had the opportunity again to satisfy your curiosity and to become the global leaders that we know that you will be. This is an amazing day and it's my absolute privilege to be your MC for this event. Throughout the day today, we're gonna to encourage you to participate with us. We've opened up a question and answer window um, that will be available to you. So if your favorite graduate is being acknowledged, if you wish to share some thoughts about your experience, please do so in that question and answer um, box within Teams. We have an outstanding agenda for you today. In a moment, I'm gonna invite our senior executives to bring their greetings. We were thrilled to receive some memories um, and images from all of you and from your supervisory teams that really reflect, I think, not only the outstanding academic work that goes on at the University of Waterloo, but the exceptional community that all of you help create. Our associate deans, graduate studies from each of the faculties will read your names and recognize your accomplishments on a faculty by faculty basis. We will also remember, sadly, two of our PhD colleagues who were tragically lost amongst many scholars who lost their lives earlier this year in a tragic plane crash. After that event, we'll share more of your memories. And perhaps what is the most exciting part of the day is this time we will hear from Nasheed Sharaya, a colleague of yours who is the alumni gold medal winner. And we couldn't be more pleased to have an opportunity for our PhD candidates, our exceptional PhD scholars to address their peers at this celebration. And then I'll have an opportunity to close with some parting words. So that's the agenda for today. I hope all of you are as excited as we are to celebrate all of your accomplishments. And so without any further ado, let me introduce and invite my colleague and friend, the President and Vice Chancellor, Faridin Hamdalapur, to address this celebration. Faridin. Thank you, Jeff, and uh, good afternoon, colleagues, uh, PhD graduates, and uh, and um, family members. Um, before I uh, begin, uh, I would like to um, offer our uh, respects um, to the elders of the uh, neutral, past and present uh, elders of the neutral Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. Uh, the University of Waterloo sits on their traditional territory. It's called the Haldeman Tract. 
that land is promised to the Six Nations people, the land that stretches on each side of the Grand River. It would have been a fantastic day today with this gorgeous day outside to have this ceremony in person uh, in our usual way. But unfortunately, uh, as, you, as all of you would know, the circumstances will not allow us to do that. That doesn't mean that that enormous excitement, the sense of pride, the joy uh, that as we walked into the convocation hall, as I looked into your eyes, as walked by you, and is still there. Nothing takes away that sense, whether we are doing this in person or remotely. I can feel it, it's in the air. I want to thank uh, Professor Casalo and his entire team in graduate studies and postdoctoral affairs for thinking so innovatively and so caringly putting this ceremony together. It's just fantastic. But then I come back to you, uh, uh, graduates. Uh, you've done something amazing. It's called a PhD dissertation. You didn't have to do it. Nobody forced you or asked you to do it. This is something you wanted to do. You answered that fire in your belly by entering into something that took you years, that, that took many, many sleepless nights, anxiety, stress, but also this tremendous joy of accomplishment. At the end, you have come up with something that nobody else was able to do it. This is your original idea. This is your new concept. This is something that only you were able to put together and come up with. Our world, but especially our university, is richer, stronger, because you have A, decided to do your PhD and also did it here at the University of Waterloo. We all benefit from your tremendous scholarship, but we also acknowledge that it was not easy. If, I'm sure that we'll have many stories that you can share, but if you know, comparing to my own experiences, um, yeah, there were a lot of hardships. You wake up in the middle of the night and wonder whether this is ever going to finish, whether this is going to converge into what you had you had hoped that it would. But one moment that magic light bulb comes on and you have it, and here you are. You're all here and we are celebrating your accomplishments. As Jeff mentioned, uh, of course, this takes a lot of care and attention of supervisors, supervisory committees. Um, I take this opportunity also acknowledge their tremendous contributions and of course this lifelong friendship that is established between you and uh, supervisors. I thank them for their care and attention of making it possible for you to be here today. It's been a long journey, and I know that this year was a special one because you had to pivot. Uh, like no other uh, PhD experiences, it was under very, very special circumstances, whether your access to your lab or you know research material and uh, being not being able to be here in person on campus. You persevered, nevertheless, You've, you've accomplished uh, what you wanted to accomplish, and I extra for that one, extra congratulate you. Thank you so much for spending the past how many years, I won't bring it up, uh, of your life here with us, and congratulations again to all of you. Thank you. And thank you very much, Ferdin. And thanks again, Ferdin, for those, uh, those very warm words of welcome. Let me now invite to the virtual podium, our Vice President, Academic and Pro Provost, Professor James Rush. Jim. And Jim, you're on mute.
we're having just a moment of technical difficulties with Jim's microphone. So we'll give Jim a moment to see if we can correct and we'll come right back to him. Is that better? Yes, we can hear you perfect. Oh, fantastic. Sorry about the delay, <laughs> folks. Uh, and thanks, Jeff. On behalf of the university, I'd like to, in this belated way, uh, extend a, a, an additional warm welcome uh, to our newest doctoral graduates, our academic supervisors, family members, friends, and special guests. As the president uh, indicated, today marks the culmination of years of hard work, of passion and commitment on your part. And although we cannot be in person to celebrate with you, we of course uh, don't think in any way that that diminishes your immense accomplishments. And we're fortunate to be able to be together as a group through this technology and platform to recognize your accomplishments. Graduates, you know that you've achieved something very special today that your research has made a significant original contribution to knowledge and that you've graduated from an exceptional university. It's been a demanding journey, but believe me, it is worth the effort. And to the supervisors, the family and friends uh, that are present today, the support you've offered your graduate during their academic journey has been integral to their success. I'm certain that at times it was a challenging experience for all, but congratulations on reaching the finish line together. Having had the honor of being a PhD supervisor myself, I can attest to the complex fabric of the supervisor doctoral student relationship that the president referred to. With very distinct but synergistic roles, including elements of learning flowing both ways, with thought partnership and problem solving, with shared dedication, and responsibility to the creation of the conditions for success and often with friendship. The proudest moments and the greatest accomplishments of many supervisors are to have contributed in small and in large ways to the continuity and the perpetuation of the spirit of discovery and innovation through their commitment to the development of human capacity at this highest level of doctoral studies. This certainly has given me some of my most fulfilling experiences as a scholar, and I know that that is true for the supervisors that are present at this ceremony today as well. At this particular time in history, we're all living through a uh, life-changing pandemic and a number of other worldwide events that will leave a mark on all of us. But I believe a University of Waterloo education has prepared you to be lifelong learners and leaders ready and willing to embrace change no matter what happened to be at our doorstep from time to time. Today, we not only celebrate the time and effort that it took for you to get here, we celebrate you and those who supported you. We also celebrate the better technologies, societies, and organizations that you will create. I encourage you to use your gifts, your skills learned here at Waterloo, and your connections to make your communities, this country, and our world a better place, especially for those less fortunate. This is what alumni of this university do. As you celebrate your achievements today and move into the next phases of your lives, know that you are a unique and important member of the University of Waterloo family. The university staff, your faculty supervisors, and I are all very proud of you. We want to keep in touch and we'll support you in any way we can as you embark on the next chapter of your life. I hope you continue to benefit from being part of the University of Waterloo community, from its resources, its reach, and most importantly, from the relationships that you have built here. Our tradition of convocation, the rituals, customs, and clothing, both, both at the University of Waterloo in particular, but at institutions of higher learning in general, dates back nearly a thousand years. The symbols in the ceremony of convocation look back far beyond Waterloo's founding, even as our university continues to look ahead. So today, it's our collective intent with this special virtual event to ensure that you, our doctoral class of fall 2020, are celebrated by the University of Waterloo. 
We recognize that this is not the celebration that you or we envisioned when you started your studies a few years ago, but our intention remains to celebrate nonetheless your well-deserved doctoral degrees and to celebrate the achievements of a new generation of Waterloo graduates. So please accept my heartfelt congratulations and my wish for all the very best as you go out into the world and continue the University of Water and continue to be University of Waterloo ambassadors. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thanks so much for that, Jim. So as we began to conceive of this virtual convocation celebration, we began to wonder how can we make this personal? How can we really ensure that you feel that you are part of this community in a meaningful way? And we thought the easiest way to do that is to let you share with us the memories that you have of the time that you were at Waterloo. So I now, allow, I now will present for you the about a three or four minute video that contains all of the images and some captions that you submitted to us. This is one of two. We'll get to see the second set of images later on in our celebration today. But for now, sit back and enjoy some images that you've, you've submitted to us. Those are just such remarkable images. Uh, I love to watch them, to see the families together and to see the celebrations, to see the community that is graduate studies at the University of Waterloo. I hope all of you enjoyed that as much as I did. 
So maybe on to the most important part of the day for our graduates. Let's acknowledge those who have completed their PhD degrees. And with that, we'll do this by faculty. And so first up alphabetically is my colleague, the Associate Dean of Graduate Studies, Dr. Brian Laird. Brian? Thank you, Jeff. My name is Brian Laird, Associate Dean Graduate Studies from the Faculty of Applied Health Sciences. It is my distinct pleasure to congratulate the doctoral graduates from our faculty. And this is a time to celebrate your hard work, resilience, accomplishments, and leadership. It's also a time to reflect on the many friendships and connections they built over your years here at the University of Waterloo. Friendships and connections that not only enrich your lives during your PhD studies, but are also likely to persist in ways that few others will be able to match. And as much as I wish that we could all be together in person to mark this occasion, I'm so grateful that so many of you, your families, and your loved ones have been able to join from a distance as we endure the second wave together. We're so fortunate to have each of the following doctors of philosophy ready to join the public health and health services communities. Your talents are sorely needed as we collectively work to overcome public health threats, not just in the short, but also in the long term and then promote the health and well-being for a more equitable future for all. My next task is to read the names of each of our new doctoral graduates from the Faculty of Applied Health Sciences. Well done to each of you for your contributions via your thesis list listed here. Rachel Acton, Amanda Rafool, Nam Tran, and Mutasim Zakar. Congratulations to each of you one more time to all of our doctoral graduates. Now, let me uh, pass the torch over to my colleague, Anna Esselman. Great, thank you so much, Brian. I am so pleased to be part of this doctoral celebration today. My name is Anna Esselman and I'm the Associate Dean of Graduate Studies for the Faculty of Arts. The Faculty of Arts is home to many smart and hardworking young scholars who choose interesting and often interdisciplinary topics to investigate. But taking on doctoral studies is something else entirely. It is a long road of coursework and exams, and then you must test theories, push boundaries, and ultimately discover that slice of new knowledge that you will contribute to your field. But you have been judged worthy by your peers. I know that because I have read the reports from your examiners. But this incredible achievement, as has been noted, is also the culmination of support from your community your student colleagues, your professors, your supervisors, and your family and friends who I know are bursting with pride for what you've achieved. And now you can make them all call you doctor, and that never gets old. So it is my honor and privilege to read the names of our doctoral graduates from the Faculty of Arts. Yelena Abdulieva. Preston Ahrens, Kevin Barber, Joseph Buscemi, James Carroll, Bethany Kelleher, Navio Kwok, Jeremy Marty Dugas, Sarah McCracken, Human Marabian, Jotisha Mugan, Tracy Wagner Ritzvi, David Yesea, and Chumney Zhu. My sincere congratulations to all of our graduates. We are so proud of you and the work that you have done here in the Faculty of Arts. So, congratulations. And now it is my pleasure to turn the baton over to the Faculty of Engineering 
and the Associate Dean for Graduate Studies, Siva Sivathaman. Thank you, Anna. Hello, everyone. My name is Siva Sivathaman. I'm the Associate Dean of Graduate Studies in the Faculty of Engineering. It's your day today, your graduation, and it gives me enormous pleasure to share the excitement of this day and celebrate your convocation. I know this has not been easy for you to get to this point. Your dedication, determination and hard work have paid off and brought to you to where you are today. On behalf of the Faculty of Engineering, let me congratulate you on your achievement and success, which you can be very proud of. Thank you for making us extremely proud of you, and we are looking forward to seeing you being more and more successful and making impactful and innovative contributions to our society. Let me offer my best wishes to you for the next stage in your career and for every success in your life. Now, I have the pleasure to read the names of all 38 doctoral graduates from the Faculty of Engineering. Al Harbi Hisham, Al Nimi Ayman, Al Zabin Heba, Kareem Amin, Vadiraj Anantapatmira Barao, Yun Bei, Hu Xing Shik, Tyler Davidson Hall, Yaping Deng, Manzur El Nasari Espahani, Hadi Ganjidust, Sahar Hemmati, Cheng Huang, Khaled Ibrahim, Nahid Juma, Amr Kamal, Siokyang Kang, Mahmoud Kalafala, Grigori Kimail, Matthew Lee, Junling Li, Dongjia Liu, Dan Liu, Merve Makali, Puya Mehrania, Chong Meng, Payam Padida, Mehdi Parvizi Mozaid, Mohammed Razanpush, Ahmed Shire Omar, Jonathan Shahin, Wizen Shi, Tajinder Singh, Man Chung Alan Tam, Colin Van Nijan Heis, Yu Wang, Hyun Gua Yu, and Nilza Zidarek. Let me once again congratulate all the doctoral graduates. And now I invite the invite Professor Peter Detman from the Faculty of Environment. Thank you. Thank you, Siva. Um, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Peter Dedman, and I am the Interim Associate Dean for Graduate Studies in the Faculty of Environment. And on behalf of everyone in the Graduate Studies community in the Faculty of Environment, I want to congratulate you on the degree that you're receiving this week. This degree represents the culmination of years of hard work and dedication to your field of study. We're all very proud of your accomplishments. And as we celebrate your accomplishments this week, we also pause to remember our friend and colleague, Mari Furotan. Mari's friendship, hard work, and commitment to her research will always be remembered by everyone in the Faculty of Environment. I am sorry that we can't get together in person today, but I do hope that we will see you at some future live event, perhaps a future convocation event or an alumni gathering. And until then, I want to wish you all the best as you head off into the next chapter of your life. Please stay in touch and we wish you a sincere congratulations. Now I'd like to read the names of our 
graduates. Alia Almansur, Marzia Furutan, Yudi Harajidi Kurniawan, Ming Liu, Christopher Luderitz, Lingfei Ma, Nicholas Mercer. And congratulations okay. to all of our graduates in the faculty of environment. I'd now like to invite Adam Kokiewicz from the Faculty of Mathematics to address our celebration. Thank you, Peter, and thank you all for joining us today. My name is Adam Kolkevich, and I am associate dean graduate studies for the Faculty of Mathematics. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to share the excitement of your graduation day and in particular to celebrate new doctorate graduates from the Faculty of Mathematics. Many days, uh, likely nights of hard work and dedication filled with mathematical proofs and computer coding finally resulted in this great achievement. Your degree testifies that you have made impactful contribution to your respective fields and demonstrate that you are innovative, ambitious and persistent. I would like to encourage you to grow your passion for mathematics, computer science, statistics, actuarial science, continue to advance your field and share your knowledge with others. On behalf of everybody in the Faculty of Mathematics, I want to congratulate you on your well-deserved success and wish you the brightest future in your professional and private lives. And now it's my privilege to announce the names of new doctorate graduates in the Faculty of Mathematics. Ali Asem Abdelkader Mahmoud, Shubham Dvivedi, Ertan Elma, Katern Fair, Mina Farid, Mirmoch Taba Garibi, Enayatala Ghaznavi, Kong Guo, Exan Hossein, Sejin Kim, Takaaki Koik, Anastasia Kuzminik, Jason Legro, Christopher Leonardi, Amit Levy, Kinan Leon, Abel Molina Prieto, Avinash Prasad, Supranta Sarma Borua, John Shank, Nashid Sharia, Justin Shaw, Ala Shoyegi, Yidan Shi, Giselle Sosa Jones, Herman Sural, Salt Tanko, Zachary Walsh. Congratulations to each of you one more time. We are very proud of all, all, all of you. Now it's my pleasure to turn the podium to my colleague, Professor Sean Wettig, who is the Associate Dean Graduate Studies for the Faculty of Science. Thank you very much, Adam. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our doctoral graduates and to your families who are uh, attending this wonderful remote event. My name is Sean Wettig, and I have the privilege to be the Associate Dean of Science for Graduate Studies. Today, we're here to celebrate the success of you all. As a university community, we could not be prouder of your accomplishments. Science is home to amazing graduate student researchers, and without your contributions, our research success would be impossible to achieve. From fundamental studies in physics to understand the origins of our universe to practical research correcting the vision of patients, the contributions that you have made here will continue to impact the world as you move forward in your careers.
It's my absolute pleasure on behalf of the Faculty of Science and all its faculty members, staff and students to congratulate the following new Doctors of Philosophy. Poom Pong Chai Wong Kot. Adrian Franco Rubio. Daniel Grimmer. Chi Hu. Sophia Lendor. Wai Bu Liu. Brialen Loeb. Nikita Luby. Erica Ramos Guzman. Nayeli Rodriguez Briones. Jonathan Schulz Beach. Vasudev Sham. Aritha Stalin. Paul Stanish. And Yi Jen Zhu. Congratulations on behalf of the Faculty of Science. I now turn control back over to Dr. Jeff Casello, the Associate Provost for Graduate Studies and Postdoctoral Affairs. Thank you very much, Sean, and thanks to all of our Associate Deans for acknowledging our exceptional doctoral graduates today. That is just an absolute joy to see the names and of course to acknowledge all of those again behind the scenes who have supported this great diversity of scholars that have made so many contributions already to the academic in their disciplines. So congratulations once again from me on behalf of all of our graduate studies colleagues here at the University of Waterloo. You will have heard from our Associate Dean in the Faculty of Engineering as well as the Associate Dean in the Faculty of Environment that both remembered two of our colleagues who unfortunately can't be with us today because they were lost earlier this year in a tragic plane crash. I'm going to invite President Ferdinand Handelapper back to the podium, virtual podium, to remember our colleagues who were lost. So Ferdinand, if you will. Thank you, Jeff. Um, as we take today to celebrate each of you, uh, I would like to take a moment to reflect on two members of the University of Waterloo graduate students community, who, as Jeff said, we uh, tragically lost at the beginning of the year. <clears throat> the University of Waterloo community and the entire country were devastated at the crash of the Ukrainian International Airlines flight PS752 on January 7. The tragedy took the lives of so many, including the lives of two Water University of Waterloo PhD students, Marie Farutan and Mansoor Eshari Esfahani. To Marie and Mansoor's families, friends, colleagues, and our extended University of Waterloo community around the world, we continue to mourn with you. Murray and Mansoor were certainly talented and driven PhD students, but they were so much more than that. In the weeks and months following their passing, so many stories were shared about Murray's creativity and energy, and also Mansoor's deep kindness. Today we remember each of them, but we are also recognizing their contributions to their fields and to the University of Waterloo, and for that, awarding Murray and Mansoor honorary degrees. <clears throat> no degrees or words of sympathy can ever replace the loss of one, one of our community members, but we can ensure we never forget them. Would you please, my colleagues, friends, family members, join me in a moment of silence to honor the memory of Marie and Mansur and all of those also lost in this terrible strategy. Thank you. Jeff, over to you. Thank you so much, Sheridan, for that very fitting tribute to our colleagues. Um, 
We certainly acknowledge how important all of them were to our community and continue to be, and the university remains eager to support them, their families, and their loved ones. As we remember our colleagues, let us now share some more of your memories with the second video um, of memories that you've shared with us about your time here at the University of Waterloo. Congratulations once again to all of our graduates, and thanks once again for all of those fantastic images. It's my pleasure now to introduce Dr. Nasheed Sharia. Dr. Dr. Sharia is an emergent scholar in computer, computer science who researches visualizations of networks, particularly communication networks, and his work concentrates on creating automated systems that will manage those, those communication networks in the presence of failure. His work is incredibly impactful. Nasheed already has more than 1,000 citations. He has patents. He's won multiple best paper awards. But beyond his scholarship, his personal story is also exceptionally inspirational. Nasheed Sharia is our 2020 Alumni Gold Medal winner, and it's my absolute pleasure to invite him to address his peers here at this graduation celebration. Dr. Sharia, over to you. Thank you, Dr. Casello. I'd like to welcome the President of University of Waterloo, Farid Alhamdulillahpur, Vice President James Rush, Associate Vice President Jeff Casello, Faculty Associate Deans, Professors and Supervisors, 
fellow doctoral graduates and their families. Thank you for joining today. I'm highly honored to receive the 2020 PhD alumni gold medal and to have the opportunity to address all of you. First, I would like to convey my gratitude to the Almighty Allah, my Lord, for all the blessings in my life. I also want to thank the University of Waterloo for recognizing and inspiring researchers like me with the alumni gold medal and the lifetime opportunity of giving the valedictorian speech to fellow graduates whose achievements are also very distinguished. I am dedicating this award to my father, whom I lost at the age of four in a tragic road accident, and my grandmother, whom I lost just a year ago, but was an integral part of my childhood. I hope both of you are listening from the heaven. I take this opportunity to thank my family, friends, teachers, and advisors. I owe you a lot. I also want to thank University of Waterloo community, including my PhD supervisor, Rao Budhava, and the wonderful community I had at Pichanar Waterloo, for whom I never felt alone in a city that is thousands of kilometers away from Bangladesh, my country of origin. For you, I could call Kitchener Waterloo as my home away from home for the last six years. Even if I moved to further west to start a new academic career at University of Regina, Waterloo is still a part of my life. My three and a half year old son still asks me if I am going to Waterloo when I go out. Let me give you a brief overview of myself. I spent my early childhood in a small town of Bangladesh where I lived just beside a higher secondary college. Observing the vibrant activities in the college, I started dreaming to be always part of academic institutions, be it as a student or as a staff member. I am fortunate to follow this dream in my life until today. I spent my time in Sriborddi Kindergarten, Disha Preparatory, Dhanudi Boys School, Narodem College, Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, and lastly, University of Waterloo. In the institutions prior to the University of Waterloo, I did fairly well, but never got the highest award that I am receiving today. This is very special to me and beyond my expectation. However, the beginning of my PhD journey was not smooth. I started in 2014 as an international student at Waterloo with a big cultural shift from my pre-PhD life. Back then, I often got disappointed by being very close to several scholarships, but not quite making them and receiving rejections on several fronts. I still remember what my supervisor told me in this regard. Quote, few people start flying from the very beginning, but most people first take off slowly, then move forward in a steady fashion where success follows automatically." Unquote. Now I can fully realize the meaning of this word. It is also worth mentioning that I often doubted about my research at initial stages, asking myself, are they really meaningful in practical context? Now I see the real implications of my work and feel proud of them. So it took several years to get this realization. And if I didn't continue, I would not have seen this. In this journey, I got inspirations and support from many sources at University of Waterloo. Let me mention two of them. In early 2016, I, along with few other international students from different faculties, were invited for a lunch with the president of University of Waterloo to talk about the issues of international students. It was an amazing experience for a second year PhD student like myself. And I hope similar initiatives are still going on so that voices of all marginalized groups at University of Waterloo are heard. I often chatted with the old gentleman 
who came to vacuum my office at Waterloo and gave me completely different perspectives on life and our work. These experiences taught me the importance of being kind to others and treating everyone equally. So if I look back, I can identify key things that along with the vision and guidance from my supervisor and inspirations from many others took me to succeed in my PhD. Being passionate and trying hard on my work, observing patients when needed, and learning lessons from my failures. I'm sure each of us who are graduating today have our own story of addressing challenges and succeeding in our journeys. Despite all the odds, we did it. So congratulations to all of us. At the same time, I think we should feel ourselves lucky to be a part of a privileged group who achieved the highest possible degree on earth. Not everyone gets the same opportunity. For some, physical or mental challenges impede them from reaching their goals. Financial hardship does not allow some people to continue their endeavors. Many lives get cut short by violence and insincere, insincere act of others, and the list can go on. This reminds us of our responsibilities as doctoral graduates. The world needs us more than ever before, especially in these pandemic times. In addition to diseases, including COVID-19, we are facing many challenges, including oppression against humanity, rise in populist and terrorist activities, socioeconomic imbalance, poverty and hunger, systemic racism, mental health and addiction, climate change and environmental sustainability, misinformation and cyber threat, and so on. I sincerely believe that we, the new graduates, can contribute to address these challenges by creating effective methods, solutions, and technologies, and then by, by transforming knowledge and people's perceptions so that we can advance our communities while keeping everyone safe and giving their dignities. Again, starting a new career is not easy, especially during these difficult times, embracing many new normals but we can use our knowledge, wisdom, and skill to overcome these challenges, serve humanity, and make the world a better place for those who are not as fortunate and as privileged as us, and, and for generations to come. If we can do that collectively, that would be the best reward of our work, as well as of the distinctions we receive today. So I want to close by again thanking all of those who supported me through my time in Waterloo. I want to congratulate my fellow graduates and I look forward to learning of our collective success as we mobilize the vast talent we possess and the educations we received at the University of Waterloo to advance all of our well-being. With that, I thank you for listening to me. Thank you so much, Nasheed, for those very inspirational words. I hope all of you enjoyed as much as I did listening to our alumni gold medal winner share his thoughts on his experiences, but also the future and how we all can play a role in that future. I have the opportunity now to bring the celebration to a close, and I just have a few thoughts to share with you from me personally. I want to share with you my experience as a doctoral candidate. Uh, I won't go into the long details. But I was 28 years old and was working professionally as an engineer and felt that really I needed a pathway to become more impactful. That was my goal. 
And I had intended to go back for a PhD so that I could earn this credential so that I could return to my current job and again, try to see if I could influence the way in which that organization that I was part of was, was operating. Instead, what happened was as a graduate student, I had an opportunity to teach and to do research as all of you did. And along the way, as I was teaching our undergraduate students, when the lights came on for them and the learning began to happen, it was just the most exciting and uplifting event that's ever really happened to me in my life was to be part of this dissemination of knowledge, to be part of this learning and to watch those young people's faces light up as they became with a, they achieved a greater understanding of what we were trying to convey to them. That was for me a life changer, quite literally. And my plans to return to my existing job, those got thrown out the window pretty quickly. And I knew soon that I would be pursuing an academic career. I had a friend and a colleague from graduate school who was part of the University of Waterloo community as an alumna from the systems design engineering program. When a job opportunity came to Waterloo, my wife and I came here to Waterloo and in a flash of an eye, 16 years have gone by. My job every day is to get up and to work on behalf of and with the brightest minds in Canada and in the world. And if you can ask me if there's a better job, I can't imagine that there is. The University of Waterloo is dedicated to all of you. It's dedicated to your success. It's dedicated to ensuring that the impact that I hope all of you were seeking when you came back to graduate school, and maybe some of you are already achieving in your disciplines, and I know that all of you will certainly achieve in your disciplines in the future. The university wants to be part of that. They want to continue to support that. They want to continue to celebrate those successes with you. The university wants to be a resource for you and also wants to be a place in which you feel part of our community. Today and this week, as we convocate and as we confer your degrees, you're joining an alumni network that is 200,000 persons strong. We have CEOs, we have entrepreneurs, we have artists, we have philosophers, we have people all over the world. We have Nobel Prize winners in our community. This is the part of the community that you have just become or have been and now are becoming officially an alumni. We couldn't be happier, we couldn't be proud of you. I couldn't be more proud of you. On behalf of all of my colleagues, let me once again congratulate you and thank you for all that you have achieved. And thank you sincerely for having chosen Waterloo because the University of Waterloo is now and will be for many years to come a better place because you've been part of our community. As I said, the university continues to want to be part of your community. So please keep in touch with us, be in contact, let us know of your successes, celebrate with us. If you need us, we're here for you. And that's the message that I want to leave you with. So on behalf of the president, the provost, all of my colleagues at the associate deans, all of my colleagues in graduate studies and postdoctoral affairs who helped make this event possible today. And of course, on my behalf, I want to thank you for being part of this event today. I want to say once again, congratulations. I want to invite you to keep in contact with us and most importantly, keep well and keep impactful. Thank you so much.